Welcome to my five minute distribution preview of Sebio. Now, uh, Sebio is a um, Gen 2 based distribution, and just like how Ubuntu is um, Debian based, they have several versions of their distribution offered up for the um, desktop environment. So you have an XFCE version, a LXDE version, as well as a uh, GNOME version, and a few others. But let's uh, see what already is pre-installed now. Flash is already pre-installed as you can see here under settings. So YouTube is already uh, functional which is pretty cool. Now, I'm actually recording this audio on my phone, so you probably won't be able to hear it, but the audio is, in fact, working. So, let's move on to taking a quick look at the applications. Now, I'm not a very big fan of the default appearance, but that's no problem, because all I have to do is go into the appearance preferences and change it to my personal favorite, which is... Uh, XFCE Dusk. And as you can see, the web browser itself actually changed um, automatically to match the, uh, the dark um, style. Another one of my favorite applications is the multimedia um, audio player, Excel. Now this is a lightweight uh, music player which supports uh, radio stations Let's see if I can find, uh, maybe there's some pre-installed. Nope, it's completely clear. So, so you can customize it any way you like. No, uh, nothing pre-downloaded. This is what's really great is that it's just lightweight and simple and really easy just to go in and change your settings, which is something you can't do anymore in GNOME, which is kind of annoying. So. Um, you know, you don't like your clock on the left side, hey, move it to the right, whatever. It's an extremely responsive uh, program. As you can see by launching GIMP, it took almost no time at all, which is wonderful. Now let's see here, what else can we show you guys? Let's take a look at the accessories that come pre-installed. Your uh, GED, um, sorry, your uh, GTK Disk Utility Squeeze, um, the Task Manager. This is the really basic version. Um, I believe it's the same one that uh, the LXDE one. Let's see here, what else do we got? Shotwell um, in multimedia. Now, I actually installed Caden Live and Qt Record on my desktop, but everything else here is pre installed. LibreOffice pre-installed, and a bunch of uh, Sepian uh, bookmarks. And, oh, I almost forgot to show you guys the Sepian store, which is where you download all of your great free open source software. And it is a little ugly right now because I changed the preferences, so let me change them back to the default. haven't really had a chance to customize. Just go in here and let's download something. How about some Chromium? Oh, there we are. Let's download this and see how this all works. Now, I'm a big fan of their big fan of their terminal having multicolor support as a uh, as a web designer I find it just that much easier to read if everything is in uh, multiple colors instead of just straight black and white so you know this is pretty good stuff and of course because it's um, pretty bare bones when you get it with a bunch of lightweight application it just flies like crazy and it's open for you to do whatever you want, which is totally cool. Let's open up Chromium really quick. And check this out.
Yep, actually this is a lot cleaner than the default browser. Well, my five minutes are up, and uh, thanks everybody for watching.